good. Freed Stun is back to camp. What brings you to these lands? You have returned and have freed some of my men. Well done. But where is our companion Oda? Uh, <clears throat> he was poisoned. I see. We are fools to have acted so aggressively against the orcs. And dear Oda has paid the ultimate price for it. We owe you our gratitude. But we would not have met some fate as he were it not for you. Yes, you would have. Oh, for we would have. Yes. Okay, let's how about that? And, oh yeah, I also have this remedy that I found. Our success depends upon our strength. Will mm. you aid us? Yes, resourceful are the soldiers of Stangard. I don't know, I, I'm just almost thinking of doing this in a Yoda voice. Resourceful are the soldiers of Stangard. Yes, <laughs> okay. I suppose if you go in Old English, you could put those things in any order. But it sounds weird in modern English. Yes, supplies are few, yet the need for armor, weapons, and provisions is great. We must gather resources whenever there is an opportunity to do so. And there is an asset to the Wailing Hills that we should not be overlooked. Collect goat hides. Yes, all right, I should do that. Uh, oh, the remedy's supposed to go to Penda. All right. And what else? Will you aid the Rohirrim? Yes. I have been told of the orc in charge of the Moor High, the one guiding the production of the poisons to be used against us. His name is Dushatar the Defiler. Action must be swift, but we still are feeling the effects of the venom. We must rely on you to put a stop to this. Gather your allies and seek out the defiler of more, the more high cave. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm afraid you'll need someone sturdier than me to do that. Hello, uh, I have found some remedies for the defiler poison. No, I suggest you find a good way to test it without endangering anyone. <laughs> oh, yes. Aid the horse lords. You have done well to secure the poison remedy. Uh, this will help deal with our injured, and the rest shall be stockpiled to combat further attempts of poisoning by the more high. Fritzstan will be pleased to know of your efforts. Yeah, I'm sure he will be. And... What else? Ah, here we go. Oh, of course, it's a daily, so I'm not going to... Or, or it's a repeatable, at least. I'm not going to worry about repeating that at the moment. Our success depends upon our strength. Will you aid us? When the spirits of those who have fought alongside of us pass on from this land, it is traditional for us to pay them tribute for their service. Sadly, the men of this land know this practice all too well, and a common memorial area can be placed at the Kutstan Monument. You are welcome to join us in this tradition. I ask that you collect the red flowers scattered across Aster Hill. Bring them south and place them on the stones around the Kutstan in memory of Oda and the other fallen Rohirrim. Okay. And? Our success oh. depends upon our strength. Will you aid us? Will you aid the Rohirrim? Uh, yes, you have proven yourself to be a true friend of the Rohirrim, and I believe you are worthy of receiving some interesting information. As you know, I was away from camp, scouting along the hills from the north, when there was a great trouble began. It was there that I encountered, concealed among the clearing of the al an ally unexpected. I think if you'd best to go visit him yourself, go northeast beyond Astor Hill and seek out that clearing. Their presence in these lands lends me to believe that they may be in need of assistance. Perhaps your abilities would be of use to them. All right, the visitors to the north, and that is going to conjoin with what Bingo has to say. That's where I'm going to go next, and if I kill any goats along the way or collect any red aster along the way, that's just a bonus. Hello, Bingo. Longha helps those who refuse her help. Extraordinary! Yes, most extraordinary! 
I have seen more than my share of orcs by now, Petronella, and we are truly making these lands more safe with each meeting, aren't we? It is good we encountered Langha here instead of continuing elsewhere. She is the first Bjorning I have ever met, and she is not what I expected. There have been stories about her people even in the Shire, and many of them portray the line of Bjorn as being bloodthirsty and angry, more beast than man. It is true that Lachar has no mercy for her enemies and does not speak well of the men of Stangard, but I am moved by the realization that she carries out her duties despite the outright rejection of her services. She helps those who refuse her help. I wonder how many of us would do the same. I saw an eagle in the skies to the north. Very good, my friends. You have done well to fight the orcs, and certainly better than the cowardly men of Stangard could have done. I too fought the orcs among the Wailing Hills, and as I searched for foes I defeated, I saw an eagle in the skies to the north and watched it descend into the trees. The eagles have been on good terms with my people for many years. We should go to them and learn what he has seen from the heights. Such knowledge might be of use to us, as I seek to accomplish my task. Very well. Then, let us go and find out. Sometimes the labels get strange. For example, wild hill goat. Alright, if there are wild hill goats, why are they all inside of a pen? Not very wild if you ask me. But, I do have a quest to get some goat hides, so I suppose that's what I should do. Hello! And anyway, if the Rohirrim need goat hides, maybe the eagles could... I could keep some of the meat as a gift for the eagles, because... Who knows if they're busy on going... Uh-oh! Whoopsie daisy! Oh, didn't notice the spider! Now, how I could have missed something that big with eight legs, I have no idea. But, I managed to do that. There you go. Are you done yet? Ooh, how nice. I uh, just need a few more of these and I can visit Langevel. I suppose that at this point I shouldn't really know that this eagle is Langevel, but... Here we go. There is Langevel. Well, at least now we've got the name tag ahead of it. Willem. <laughs> now, <laughs> I could just imagine Willem Whiskers saying, Uh, that's a big bird! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, how much could I eat if I managed to tackle that big bird, though? I think Langevel could eat Willem down. Maybe I should feed him this goat meat. Uh, hello there. I guess we'll start with the visitor from the north. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Langevel, and I am brother to the Windlord Grai here. I have observed some of your deeds in these lands, and I believe you may be capable of helping me with my task. Well, then, what task is that? This location must remain secure. I traveled into these lands with my companion, uh, Menel Meneldor, and we have agreed to meet here. We have been tracking a shadowy, slinking creature out of Moria at the behest of Gwai here, but we have lost him among the mountain caves. We agreed to search independently for a time, but to reunite at this location. As we speak, spiders of the orcs creep ever closer to discovering the clearing and placing us in great danger. Please defeat any nearby enemies which threaten this hidden area. So we need to kill orcs and spiders. Alright, that sounds usual. And also I guess I need to speak with them for the little quest here. 
Uh, greetings, little hobbit. Uh, you would be wise to use caution in these lands, for you are bound to the earth, and many dangerous fiends crawl there, eager to do you harm. Indeed, some of my foes aim their weapons skyward, intending to do harm to my kind as well. Yeah, uh, I guess that should be no huge shock. I have to be careful, because sometimes when talking to him, I sometimes don't see the quest ring that's above him, because it's so <laughs> way up there. I have found no trace of the creature we were tracking. Our eyes could still follow him through the shadows, but we cannot see into the depths of every crag and cave in these hills, and we may have lost his trail. If the creatures came this way, it is possible that he, may that he may have succumbed to the large spiders that dwell in these parts. Would you search some of the spider cocoons for the creature? If you find him, do not harm him. Simply return to me with new. Alright, I have a feeling this is a creature I've seen in the past, but that's another matter. Well, the, uh, let me make sure there are no more. No, no, okay, it, it's that color now. Hello, Bingo! Uh, what do you think about Landreville here? I never expected to see one of the great eagles. What an honor! Will you look at that? Yes, have you ever seen such majesty before? <sighs> and he can speak. Uh, yeah, I spoke with him about a couple of quests. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> ah, uh, oh, do, uh, do you think he will give me an interview for my book? I, it wouldn't. I would not even know what to ask him, but I have to think. I'll think of something right. Oh, <clears throat> I'm so nervous. I hope I do not embarrass myself. He seems to be wise and well-spoken, and I just have a small hobbit from the Shire. I'm feeling smaller than usual at the moment. Yeah, I, I could understand that. We should give Bingo some time to speak with Landreval. Yes, I take it he hasn't seen one of the great eagles before. I remember when Grimbjorn first took me to see them. I was just a cub, and I was quite overwhelmed by the experience. Middledor was the name of this eagle I met, and he towered above me. I cannot begin to guess at his true size, but in my memory he seemed as big as a house. I wonder what became of him. Well, actually, Langevall's thinking of about that very thing right now because he's overdue. Hmm. Where is Metaldor? But anyway, we should give Bingo some time to speak with Langevall. After all, if we were to take him away now, he would be able to think of nothing else. Let us defeat some of the venomous spiders that stalk in the Wailing Hills. Uh, didn't Langevall tell you to do that? Yes, and collect some of their venom sacks. That way, we will be able to give Bingo time to speak with the eagle, as well as combating the threat for s at the same time. Okay, I, I suppose I can do that. Let's go and kill some spiders. Hmm. Yes. Oh, so spiders! I'm sure there are plenty of them here. Now... How well stealth works against eight eyes. I have, uh, well, I also need to kill a few orcs. Or something like that. Actually, do I technically have to kill any orcs? Let's see, I need to kill, see, I need to collect eight venom sacks. I need to have to kill at least eight spiders. And I have to defeat ten orcs plus spiders, so two orcs. Will count. And that's, of course, if you're going for efficiency, which, considering that we also have to worry about things like deeds, efficiency isn't necessarily paramount. Now, I did finish the first orc deed, but the second one also can come in handy at times. There you go. Two down. But yeah, getting rid of orcs just for the sake of getting rid of orcs is also useful. Aha, there you go. Oh, actually, this is one of the cocoons I need, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, what's in here? No evidence of the creature. Right. Okay. No, no evidence of the creature, my precious. Yeah. 
Alright, next one. No evidence of the creature. I do see evidence of orcs. Since Langevold said to kill orcs, obviously the creature I'm looking for isn't an orc. Of course, I got a pretty good idea what the creature is since I've done the quest before. Yeah? Ready? There you go. Now, let's see. No evidence of the creature I'm seeking. What do I need? I need seven more venom sacks. Red a well, red asterisk elsewhere. Feet orc. And oh, I need a lot of spider cocoons. I thought I only needed a couple of them. Hmm. It seems like orcs enjoy guarding those those cocoons. Maybe they're looking for the creature also. Actually, I most likely the orcs are looking for the creature. That's one of their reasons for being here. We know that orcs are looking for the creature because we had that quest in the Troll Shawls. Alright, no, no evidence there. We don't need the coffer. What? Oh, spiders! Good. Kill spiders. See? Ma make the region safe for Sam's window. That is our job. We don't want spiders going around killing young hobbits. There you go. Need only ah one more, and that'll be our quota of checking spider webs. Ooh, stealthy spider! Haha. -ha. Well, we can take care of those also. Ambushers. All right, but outside of an ambusher, it's just to talk to Langeville about what we have found or not found. But, of course, we need to finish out the other quests also. And, of course, we do have that spider cave up at. I'm trying to think... Whether I'm supposed to go there on my own. And I think Langevel sends me there into that cave eventually. And if that's the case, then let me finish out... Killing these spiders. And once we do that, we can head back to Langevel... And tell him that we did not find the creature. Oh, look! A red aster. I guess that must mean that I found Aster Hill. Good. And hopefully I can have a good amount of these to bring his tribute. So one, two, three. Any more around here? Oh, yeah, right in front of me, or right behind me, I guess it was. And there you go, and then that means one more bundle, and we shall be done. But instead of going back to the stone, I will head back to Langevel first. I didn't find any sign of those creatures. It is as I feared. We have lost the train. I shall take this news to Gwai here. Perhaps we will be able to track our target again with his help. Nevertheless, it is worth knowing that his path did not end in the fangs of a spider. Your help has been most appreciated. There you go. And what else? I see that you have dealt with the threats. You have my thanks. It is important that my presence remain a secret, so as not to draw the unwanted attention of our enemies. Now, he has a... 
another quest up there. We also have Lankar. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Step by step, it's going to eventually <laughs> speak Do you think me. Bingo is done speaking with Landreval yet? Well, we'll find out. It appears that Bingo still has more to say to Langevaux, so while they continue their talk, let's see what Langevaux needs me to do now. I believe that Menildor may be in great danger. Menildor should have returned by now. It is not in his nature to ignore a meeting, yet there is no trace of him in these hills. Only one location remains unsearched. I do not wish to place you in such danger, but I dare not go in there myself. There is a cavern to the west of here that appears inhab to be inhabited by spiders. Such a place is treacherous for an eagle. Explore the cave and attempt to locate Middledore within. Oh yes, we saw that area before, didn't we? What's in there other than spiders? We'll have to find that out in the next episode of Piney Plays The Burglar.